Good morning, folks. We're just going to do a quick update today because we uploaded a video last night. We really want you to have time to see, and we're also needing to keep our eyes on the charts. Let's see why over at spaceweathernews.com. Well, is it our star itself? No, not really. Quite calm there and nothing to be concerned about. The solar flaring remains very low as the sunspot number is inspecting the floor as well. But the real story is in the solar wind, where a second intensification has taken place. Unlike this time last year, the global magnetic storms are staying away. But over Europe, the disruptions built to a level 3 event with significant plasma penetration over the last 24 hours. I'm now hoping that none of those small CMEs is actually strong enough to make an impact today. Eyes open. This was the scene in China as a tornado ripped through populated regions, killing dozens and injuring hundreds more. Tornadoes are becoming more common in China, and the population keeps expanding. Similar imagery coming out of the United States where more storm conditions persisted last night. They should be moving offshore today. If you did not get your Kickstarter survey for reward fulfillment on the Disaster Prediction app, go to Kickstarter itself. They only let us send those out once, so if it's not in your inbox, it's going to be on Kickstarter once you log in. Also, suspiciousobservers.org website members, try to watch Deeper Looks 50 and 51 together. They are quite complimentary. That's the scoop today, folks. Biggest worry is whether the solar wind will cut us a break going forward followed in second place by your local weather forecast. Check out that video we posted last night, and I will see you tomorrow. We've got the usual closing. I'm going back to watching the planet's magnetism today. 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.